First thing I want to do is uh, recognize that 12 June was Women's Veterans Day. I know we're three days late from that, but uh, uh, for those women who get involved in the military, thank you very much for your service. And uh, for almost, oh my gosh, I think and I joined and then there was no women in my career field in the, in the Air Force even until mid 80s. And then I can remember two out of my entire squadron that uh, were active for about 10 years. Uh, but there, it's getting more and more prominent now, and we uh, welcome and hopefully uh, uh, celebrate uh, your, your, your causes also. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that our county has been so active in uh, testing for this COVID and also for the vaccinations that have been going on. Things are finally opening up. Uh, I'm the chairman of the Veterans Region Area Council. We had our first meeting last week, actually live. Of course, only six of us showed up for the live part. Everybody else was on Zoom but it was a very productive meeting and uh, we're working to help our veterans in uh, the Tri-County area as best we can. All of us, including the entire country, suffered uh, for this COVID, uh, uh, you might say, uh, loss of employment, places closed down. We're finally reopening. We're getting more and more in, involved and I'm grateful for that. Uh, but even with us in the county, our emergency services suffered, uh, especially those that uh, our EMTs and uh, paramedics that didn't show up for service. And I understand that. That's just the way the employment picture went. And uh, on 25th of May, we authorized our emergency services director to hire at least 38 people. And I bring this up because on 25 May, in the, uh, one of our papers that uh, wasn't very, even have several people described, but you only hired 16 people. That's true, 16 FTEs that are full-time employment for our county. The other 22, he was authorized to uh, come up with uh, either hourly employees or contract. We do have a contract that we use. And, uh, and he's doing diligently hard work. I understand he's got 12 or more uh, letters of agreement already out there to hire these people, and that's good. That, uh, that's a quick service. You're talking about less than a month from the time that he was given authorization to hire. I was expecting six to 12 months to hire all these people. But uh, hopefully this will bring us in uh, better light with the, our service that we provide, the emergency medical transport service that we provide in the county. It's very important that we do provide this. And uh, if he needs more direction from us, I welcome his input to uh, better serve the people. If we can't uh, get the contract or the hourly employees set up, uh, then we will go more contract or more FTEs if that's what it takes. But understand the paper was somewhat a little bit fuzzy on how much we authorized on the 25th of May. We authorized 38 positions. And so we're gonna, we're gonna continue working to get that. Also, uh, the Flag Day, uh, it's, it was very important to me because uh, I served 26 years in the Air Force. And uh, within a year after I joined and was trained as a loadmaster on 130s, I was sent to Vietnam. And uh, I was a loadmaster on 130s the entire time. And of course we wore the flag on our left shoulder patch, like you might say, the entire time I was there. And it was, for me, traveling from Ridge, Maryland, all the way halfway across the world into some foreign zone and couldn't speak the language or nothing. I said, wow, this is a hell of an experience. And I will admit the American flag meant a lot to me. And the only thing I did was just hold it every morning as I was going out to the plane to pre-flight do our missions for that day, which used to be five or seven missions a day. And that was, it was a lot of load, but uh, kept us busy but I just prayed that I'd be coming back home and back to St. Mary's County because the place I loved and enjoyed and, uh, and my family and everything. So, but for 14 months, I endured that, came home, and I'm grateful to still, after all those years, I'm still here. <laughs> so it was, uh, the flag meant a lot, and uh, that's why we had such a big ceremony here, and I, it continues to grow, and uh, I thank our communications director here for all her job she did to put it together and Amy for all of her work in the film and everything and all the people that participated. Thank you for coming out. I'm glad to see that we're finally, I'm sort of a social type person. I'm glad that we're finally getting out and starting to see these things and get busy with uh, going on with life here. And for those of you who are still hesitant in getting your vaccination, I think you should think twice about it. I got mine in uh, February and uh, I, I didn't grow any odd limbs or I don't feel any bad feelings from it. So, I mean, I think it works and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for it. And uh, finally getting our mask off and everything and we're sort of getting semi back to normal. And I, I appreciate all those out there, especially in our 
Uh, Dr. Brewster and our health department did a great job. So thank you very much.